last but not least, uh, that brings us to our music section. You know, probably my favorite section. I say that every week because I really do love the music. Every few months, you mean? Every few months. Yeah, you know, a few weeks, a few months, last episode. Um, time is relative. Right. So, Cena, so, you know, we're going we're gonna to start with you, you know. Uh, okay, you know my... That? My recommendation for this episode is um, Paste by Moin, M-O-I-N. Um, they're a UK outfit. I guess experimental rock is what you might call it. Um, but, you know, it's not really that far out there. It's pretty easy to listen to. I listen to this in the background while I'm walking around in minus three degrees Celsius weather or while I'm working at my desk. Um, it has some spoken word elements like Leslie Weiner stuff in there. Um, it's really good. So paste by Moin. I recommend it. Nice. You, you named everything I like about music. Okay. It's Have you British, listened to it? It's experimental. Uh, no, I haven't yet, but I definitely will with that description. <laughs> you okay. know, it's, it's kind of funny. I'm thinking to myself, it's like, when, when don't we recommend British or English music? Uh, <laughs> you know, yeah. I don't remember I don't what my it's last not, recommendation was. I don't know. It's 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 not intentional. We swear. Uh, my mine is uh, the latest Black MIDI album. They are also a British band. Uh, oh, let's see if if I knew you were doing that, I would have done something else. But okay, go yeah. ahead. <laughs> uh, they're also experimental rock, uh, jazz fusion rock, uh, math rock, prog rock, av- <laughs> avant prog. I don't know noise rock. Okay. I don't like these descriptions. That's enough of that. Uh, but I really like their latest album, Hellfire. I will go so far to say this, that to me, I think that is my album of the year. Like I've uh-huh. heard it more than any other album this year. I it's I love it so much, especially for the spoken uh, segments. I, I love when people just say just say things in music. I don't I don't know what it is about it. It's just. You know, the human voice is powerful, and sometimes the message really gets to us. Uh, you'll find that's definitely, if I had a ruined playlist, uh, <laughs> sp- spoken language is definitely a, a, sub, a subcategory that I listen to the most. Do you know about uh, Leslie Weiner? I do not. Tell me about her. Okay, I'll have to, a very esoteric artist. I think she only had one release, but I might be talking on my ass. Uh, I have that. I have her CD. It's very rare. Um, she, uh, you know, I don't know if it's fair to say that she popularized spoken word in music. That's not fair to say. I think that really came out of the French no wave movement of the eighties. But um, yeah, I'll, it's very difficult to describe. I'll have to link it to you later. You'll like it. All right, and we will include that in the show notes. Uh, so I wanted to talk a little about a bit about the Black MIDI album. It's typical black MIDI, you know, very highs, very lows. There's an even flow to it. There's a push and pull. And they kind of just go, you know, in, out, you know, this, they kind of just change the whole pace. It feels, it feels very live to me, you know, listening to live music, the, the pacing changes a lot. It's, it's not just like, all right, we're going to do it for this take. It's we're, we're doing this together and they move together in, I really get that from this album. Speaking of Black Midi, I actually want to give a shout out to a YouTube channel that um, I don't know if he's active anymore, but he used to do audio reviews. Um, That's the first time I heard about Black Midi. Uh, The YouTube channel name is called Stereo Police. Um, Is that a a young kid with his dad? Uh, No, no, he's not young. He's he's an older gentleman. Um, Really nice guy. He he just like no... um, no pretenses or editing in his videos. He just grabs a camera, paces around his listening room, and just gives you his thoughts on a piece of gear. And uh, he played like Black Midi. This was back when it was their, their first album come out, 2019. And I was like, what is that? Why is he playing that? Why is he not playing Jazz at the Pawn Shop? But um, <laughs> I looked it up and I really liked it. So that was my introduction to Black Midi. But <clears throat> Stereo Police, check him out on YouTube. He's a nice guy. Yep. Well, I think that'll do it all. That'll be it. Cool. That's, that's all she wrote for episode 12 of the Good Sound Club podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening, and until uh, next time. Peace.